Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are going to be testing if the black hole pickaxe from Reb's mod can kill some bosses. Now, we're gonna see what bosses can really survive this, much like the Infinity Gauntlet video that I did a while back. And uh, we'll see if it works. It says right here in the description that it absorbs any tiles, walls, fluids, and NPCs dropping nothing, can break chests with items in them, does not work with smart cursor, infinite range. Now, before we, descend upon this journey let's go ahead we're gonna put the chest at work here and uh, just so everyone can see it we're gonna place the chest okay and within that chest we're gonna put more chests just to show you guys the power of the black hole pickaxe if you haven't seen it before and just like that it is completely gone there's nothing here you can place torches now we're gonna put this up against npcs from vanilla thorium calamity whatever we have in here we're gonna see which ones will resist the black hole and which ones will be sucked into it all right i've rounded up a couple of boss spawners here thanks to the fargo's mod and uh, we're gonna use these ones specifically from the fargo's mod because you know they allow us to do a couple extra things for example the suspicious skull allows us to summon the dungeon guardian during the day uh same thing with this wall of flesh one you can summon the wall of flesh without having to kill the guide so let's do it let's start with this slime and uh, let's see if the king slime can survive the black hole pickaxe that that's a no it's looking like a lot of these bosses are gonna suffer the exact same fate let's go ahead let's do the eye cthulhu now and let's see if nope not even a chance like i didn't even get to finish the sentence here we are in the jungle let's go ahead let's test the queen bee also, do not expect to live. I don't expect any of these vanilla bosses to live, but I kind of expect maybe a unique interaction with some of the crazier bosses like the Wall of Flesh. Maybe even Moon Lord might have a weird interaction, but let's keep on going. Here we are in the Crimson. Let's go ahead and test out the Brain of Cthulhu. We're not testing out every single boss, but we're, we're gonna do you know a good bit of them. We're actually, we might test a majority of them. It depends. Can you come down here? Taking your sweet time. So now with the Brain of Cthulhu, it's got two different phases but can i just kill it straight out of this phase no i cannot i cannot kill the shit out of this phase instead i have to kill the uh creepers first so let's get rid of them and then the brain of cthulhu should be open to get sucked into the black hole yep so i don't know i mean it still got sucked into the black hole but it took a little bit more effort all right so next up we are doing the dungeon guardian and skeletron let's go ahead let's do the dungeon guardian first and uh, let's see, you know the Dungeon Guardian known for having very high defense and a lot of health, very hard to kill in pre-hard mode, even hard mode, even post Moon Lord in vanilla Terraria. But let's see if the uh, Black Hole Pickaxe has anything to say about that. And just like that, gone. So I expect Skeletron to suffer the same fate as his Dungeon Car Guardian counterpart. Let's get rid of his hands first. Bye bye to your hands and bye bye to your head. All right, the Wall of Flesh is up next. Let's see it in action. Spawning on the right side. I thought it was gonna come from the left side. Let's get rid of a couple of these hungries. You know, let's let's soften up the wall of flesh and let's hit them right in the mouth. You know, the stronger point. Gone. As expected, we're getting the same result for every single boss for vanilla. And uh, I don't know. I'm assuming the rest of them are gonna be exactly the same. You know, I'm kind of interested about the worm bosses. So definitely the destroyer is gonna be one of them that there might be a different type of interaction with. I don't know. Okay, let's put these first couple of mech bosses to the test here. Well, I guess all three of them. Starting with the twins. Let's see if I can even reach them. Oh, they're trying to run. They're trying to run. Get, come over here. Come on. You, you know, you just saw what happened to your brother and or sister, and it has to happen to you too next up skeletron prime i expect the same thing's gonna happen to his non prime brethren i don't know skeletron prime and skeletron the same person just prime i don't know amazon prime all right here we go the destroyer this one is the one that i expect to have a weird interaction with no just took him out completely now what happens if we hit a different segment of the destroyer same same thing oh hold up hold up we hit a different segment and you know just that segment disappears so now he's just like seven segments look at this how short can we make him oh man i split up the segments now i think they're still broke we can turn destroyer just into a head look at him pathetic come here man let's let me just let me just end it for you so yeah the destroyer definitely had the weird interaction that i thought it was gonna have i don't know does that count i think we're counting just one swing if we're counting just one swing that means the brain also survived i don't know man that that will we'll put the brain of cthulhu and the destroyer impartially survive same thing with skeletron we kind of hit his arms first but if we hit his head at first he probably died i mean i guess it's the same thing though with the destroyer if we hit his head first he dies instantly but the brain of cthulhu we can't even hit it until we kill all the creepers i don't know man 
man. I, I think they all died. No sure survivors yet, but I assume as we get deeper into the mods, there'll be some sure survivors. We are here deep in the jungle temple. Let's put the golem to the test. Where's he at? Okay, he's up here. Okay, man. Coming up here. Wait, can I hit him like this? No, because this thing did say it had infinite range. Oh my gosh, just deleting blocks. Sir, I need to come down here, all right? Just let me come down here. All right, ready, set, go. It's very interesting. I hit like all three of his segments at once. But yeah, while we're down here, let's go ahead. Let's test Plantera while we're at it. Now, Plantera, another boss that has two phases. You think I could hit Plantera's hooks? Let's get Plantera out of the way and let's see if I can hit her hooks. No, does not hit her hooks. Okay, let, let's see. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Completely skipped the second phase. The music's still going. Maybe I got to kill like all of her hands now. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Let's uh, go ahead and put some dragons up to the test. I don't, is Duke Fishron a dragon? I don't know. But we got Duke Fishron and we got Betsy. Let's go ahead and let's try out Betsy. A boss that I usually can't fight because in my old team mod loader installation, the old one's army would just crash my game all the time. I don't know why. So let's go ahead. Let's hit Betsy with the black hole. And of course, she gets sucked in it too. Here we are at the Calamity PP Ocean. And uh, let's go ahead. Let's put Duke Fishron to the test. I hope he can fight Duke Fisher on here. Does he get enraged? I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's dead. All right. Here we are at the cultist. Now, the question is, if I kill the cultist with a black hole pickaxe, will the lunatic cultist spawn? I have no idea. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's. Yeah. Can I hit him now? Can I break the mysterious tablet? No. Well, let's just. <laughs> We, we killed the lunatic cultist instantly right there. No pillars spawned because of it. So uh, we got to spawn the pillars our own way. Again, thanks to Fargo's mod, you know, we're allowed to just summon the pillars. Boom. Oh, shoot. All four of them right here. That's uh, that sounds like chaos if you did that, you know, outside of God. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's test it on the pillars. They don't have their shields. Now, I usually have a mod installed where they don't have shields, but it makes your health higher. You know, to balance out not having shields. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's put it to the test. One hit gone. One hit gone, boom, boom, as expected, but no Moon Lord spawn. I don't know if that's because of Fargo's mod or what, but uh, very, very interesting. All right, it is time to spawn in the Moon Lord and see what type of interaction happens. Let's take out. That was kind of uh, kind of a disappointment. Kind of expected him to put up a little bit more of a fight, but oh well. I guess the Lord of the Moon himself cannot fight the power of a black hole. It is time to start going through all the Thorium bosses. Let's go ahead and start with the Grand Thunderbird. Like I said, I might miss a boss here and there. We don't need to test on all of them. Just a good majority of them, and uh, ones that I personally think might have a chance to survive. Honestly, the only things I'm expecting to have a chance to survive are the Calamity ones. But there you go, Grand Thunderbird, as expected, got sucked into the black hole. We are back here in pp ocean shout out to calamity for adding in this beautiful pp colored water let's do it jellyfish resonator the queen jellyfish don't expect much from her so let's get her out of here here we find ourselves deep in a granite biome to fight the granite energy storm and he's got a couple little coalesced energy i don't know what that word is boom that's not gonna protect him from that okay so here we are we are in outer space let's go ahead let's test out the star caller which is a ufo looking boss area 51 raid coming up soon uh sadly you know nintendo said they want me to play Link's awakening instead of going to the area 51 raid and i'm very sorry i'm also very sorry that i just destroyed that boss and its children in one hit all right the next boss we are testing out is cosmix the beholder now cosmix does have two phases i mean a lot of these bosses have multiple phases but this one goes from this regular phase into a like sort of red translucent phase so let's see if it even goes into the phase or if it just disappears i don't know I feel like it went into the phase and just died. So let's go ahead. Let's test that again. Like I saw the I saw the second phase. So let me just. Nah, yeah, I think it kills both of the phases, but you can see the second phase for like a brief, literally a split second. All right, let us go ahead and finish off these last couple of Thorium bosses here, starting with the Lich don't expect much from him he does make it rain not with money but with actual droplets of rain can you come up here out of the water sir you know I, i'll just, I'll just come back. you can you, again you saw a glimpse of his other phase yeah next up is abyssion uh the ocean might look weird because i do have the uh, brightness turned up with the light hack from cheat sheet let's do it i don't know where he spawns is he he also might be uh no he's not enraged 
didn't matter. That big ass shell covering him did not matter when it comes to the black hole pickaxe. Last but not least, when it comes to the Thorium set of bosses, Doomsayer's coin, aka the Ragnarok. Let's do it. Now the Ragnarok also has phases, multiple phases, and uh, let's see. Kill two of them with one swing, completely on accident, and that's literally it. You don't even get to see the reality breaker phase. So let's try it again, but let's see the reality breaker phase this time. Okay, so here we are. We are in the reality breaker phase, and yep just like that the same thing occurs they get sucked into the black hole all right so here we are calamity bosses we're gonna do a good majority of them especially the hard modes and post moon lord ones yeah let's go ahead let's start with the desert scourge well we're only doing i think three bosses from pre-hard mode because i don't really expect these ones to have a damage cap i expect them to just die whenever no matter what weapon you're using they just die instantly no damage cap or anything all right next up bloody worm food perforator hive how do you how do you fight the perforator i, I don't really play with calamity anymore i used to play with it all the time but you know uh as i played more and more modded terraria i wanted to explore other things i feel like calamity is definitely more of a complete overhaul mod at this point there's so much content in it that you should play it probably alone or with smaller mods that's the reason why i don't include it anymore in most of my mod packs but yeah let's try this again but against the worm part if we can even do that i need to get a weapon that doesn't do a lot of damage all right here we go we got uh, a couple of the worms spawning in here and uh, i'm assuming the same thing that's gonna happen that happens to the destroyer might happen to these guys i don't know let me see yeah same exact thing so it has a very interesting interaction with uh worm bosses but uh let's go ahead let's let's just finish them off here and finish the perforator while we're at it too he's running he knows he knows i just did this to you a second ago i'm sorry all right next up is the slime god god of slime not really something you'd probably want to be a god of but you know to each their own so this boss has two different slimes around it and uh, i'm assuming that they will all die the same if they let me attack oh hold up that one that one went through a phase change there or it's gotten to a smaller variation or shrunk down to a smaller size you know like when you are supposed to fight the boss regularly and not hit it with a pickaxe that creates black holes i don't know where that slime went he went to the bottom let's just hit the the slime got itself with it and see what happens oh who would have thought Oh, you came back for some more? All right, you get some more too. Hey, yo, what's up? It's Editing Game Raiders here. We're gonna go through a couple of these bosses quickly, so it might get choppy and there might be a lot of random cuts. But if I didn't do this, this video would be like 30 minutes. Next up on our list, Cryogen. Boom. Next up, the Brimstone Elemental. I forgot its name for a second. Exactly the same results. Yep, of course. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's let's just summon them in like this. I hope we'll summon in the whole entire body. Yep. And uh, this is a segmented worm boss. So let's see if you know I hit. It just died all together. Okay. Will the siren actually spawn down here? Oh, is it just the siren? No Leviathan. Boom. There you go, Leviathan. Bam. Get him out of here. Boom. Leviathan dead. But the health bars are still there there's another leviathan okay <laughs> two leviathans let's go ahead let's do it let's fight her really weird when stuff like that happens let's go ahead let's try it again let me just i'm just gonna tap once come here oh there we go little baby tap little baby tap got into her second phase no brothers though i'm not seeing no brothers does she still have brothers i don't, I don't know if she has brothers at this point but yeah there you go she's gone all right let's go ahead let's fight the Astrum Deus, I think? No, Astrum Auris. Really cool looking boss. What the fuck was that noise? All right, let's do another boss that we fight on the uh, surface at night. Astrum Deus. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he brought a whole family. Okay, let's just start swinging. We, we got some heads flying around. Is it dead? All right, let's go ahead. Let's put the Plague Bringer to the test here. Don't expect much from a lot of these bosses. Yep. Bye bye. Next up, Ravager, which is a really, really tough boss if you're not using a pickaxe that sucks enemies into the black hole. Oh, hold up. I hit him, but uh, you know, he's not dead. Okay, that that took a good couple of hits. We're starting to see a little bit more resistance from some of these bosses. Next up, let's go ahead and fight the burbs, bumble burbs. See what's happening with them. Uh, isn't there usually multiple birds? I don't remember. It's dead now. All right, let's go ahead and fight the profane guardians, I believe. What's the name of this boss? Yeah, profane guardians. Come on, show yourself. I know there's multiple of you and uh, you're all gonna suffer the same fate to protect 
your lord and queen providence didn't do too good of a job at protecting her she's next all right here we are on our final lap and set of bosses on the metaphorical racetrack that we have here for the black hole pickaxe to finish that was a long analogy i, I shouldn't have i should have just said we're gonna fight uh providence <laughs> and then the rest of the bosses so yeah we're on the tougher bosses here let me zoom out a little bit so we can see a good chunk of the boss and yep still getting one tap most of these bosses well pretty much all of them with a little bit of resistance here and there all right next up we got the uh the guardians or something of the galaxy i don't know we're, we're fighting these guys but yeah let's go ahead let's do it starting with storm weaver gone just like that now i want to do it again and see if this boss also does the same thing because if you remember the uh aquatic scourge just you know kind of died when we hit him in any part and uh, that one you know he did the same thing as the other worms i was coming down here in the dungeon to fight the next boss and i saw this painting right here and i have never seen this painting is this from a mod what is this i don't know it, it seems like it's vanilla i don't know because when i break it it usually say if it's from a mod like you see this says calamity it doesn't say anything so that might be like a really rare painting but yeah let's see if we can fight this boss right here uh, I'm not sure. There might not be enough room to fight the Ceaseless Void. Now, the Ceaseless Void is a very interesting boss. We have to kill these little energies. Oh, all right. This is the last boss from these uh, set of d cosmic devourers. I don't know. Cygnus, Envoy of the Devourer. What's up? Oh, your little invisibility cloaking ain't gonna help you from the black hole pickaxe. All right, we are for real right here on the final stretch of bosses, starting with the Poltergast. Is that his name? I was gonna say Poltergeist, but Poltergast. Same thing with Plantera. Can we hit his hooks? No, we can't. Can we hit him? <laughs> of course okay so here we are we are on the devourer of gods let's do it this is where i expect it to get crazy because i know the devourer of gods is a boss that you can't exactly just butcher you have to like straight up leave the game and he does this weird thing where i should probably get out of this mountain he moves really fast when you're in this mount and uh let's let's get out of it and let's just see what happens he loses the back half of him as expected uh, actually not really that expected i expected him to be you know the most strongest that's B bad phrasing the strongest against the black pick hole the black hole pickaxe if we hit him in the head let's see if he lives from it mr devourer come here come here got him don't get cocky kid do you think he's gonna hop in his second phase though i don't know i don't think he is all right here we are phase two devourer of gods uh, he looks scarier in this phase let's obviously start with our test here oh and straight up he just died didn't need to hit him in the head or anything next up yarin the jungle dragon let me make sure i do his uh fight correctly here because obviously i know he has that his legit fight you have to kill the uh solar eclipse after you kill him the first time but there you go in his first fight completely destroyed all right to finish this video off we're gonna fight the eidolon worm eidolon worm however it's pronounced uh which is one of the more terrifying enemies in calamity honestly probably scarier than supreme cow but let's go ahead let's do it let's go with this one this one with two million health you are no match for the black hole pickaxe i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i didn't do the uh, blue magic slash elemental unleash bosses i think we're gonna save that and a bunch of other bosses for a possible part two let me know if you want to see a part two and also the blue magic bosses i have to fight the spirit of chaos legitimately and i really don't feel like fighting it legitimately i can't just go into god mode and fight it because it automatically kills you once it reaches the second phase i'll get around to doing that next time because i know there's a really really strong probably the hardest boss in Terraria from blue magic's mod that came out recently but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you want a part two where we'll take you know mods like elements awoken inches awake and stuff like that i expect most of it to be the same but let me know and shout out to reb miami for creating this mod the sprite isn't the prettiest no offense to reb but hopefully by the time this video comes out the sprite will have a new beautiful makeover but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the content and also make sure to follow my twitter my twitch join my discord and subscribe to my second youtube channel where i post full live streams pretty much full tour playthroughs i will see y'all next time i love you guys but bye bye